रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन there are three salt solutions a b and c let's say the concentrations are small a small b and small c they are mixed in the proportion 1 is to 2 is to 3 so if they are mixed in the proportion 1 is to 2 is to 3 what will be the concentration the concentration will become a plus 2b plus 3c upon 6 that is given as 20% so 0.2 0.2 so we can say that a plus 2b plus 3c is equal to 1.2. Let's say that this is our first equation, right? Now, uh, if instead the proportion is 3 is to 2 is to 1, so then it has 30% strength. So then, if we take 3a plus 2b plus c, the concentration will become 3 is to 2 is to 1 divided by 6. That is given as 0.3. So therefore, we can say. That three a plus two b plus c is equal to one point eight. Now, if we subtract one from two, if we subtract one from two, we will get two times a. Two b and two b will cancel. Minus two times c is equal to zero point six. So we can say that a minus c is equal to zero point three. so what we can do is see we have two equations and three variables to solve that we can express uh, you know uh, two variables in terms of one variable so let's you let's express b and c in terms of a so c will become 0.3 minus a let's find out b also in terms of a let's find out b also in terms of a so what we have to do is substitute substitute c here so this becomes a Plus two b plus three c plus three c becomes zero point nine minus three a is equal to one point two. Right. So now, if you actually uh, you know have a look at this, so this becomes two b and minus two a is equal to one point two minus zero point nine is zero point three. So b becomes. A plus zero point one five. B becomes A plus zero point one five. Now, what we have to do is ratio of strength of D to that of A. So we have found out B and C in terms of A. Now we have to for we have another solution uh, which is D. Now D has B and C in the ratio two is to seven, right? So B and D in the ratio two is to seven. So if you take B here. Becomes two a plus point three, and if you take c seven times c becomes two point one minus seven a divided by nine. So this uh, this becomes two point four minus five a divided by nine. I think I think uh, you know we have lost uh, you know this uh, we have. to actually check the the uh, calculation here i think there there seems to be some mistake here uh, so what we can do is let's so after we have found c is equal to 0.3 minus a let's put it here so then this becomes 3a plus 2b plus c is 0.3 minus a all right so uh, so we had put what we had to so We had done three a minus two a minus two c is equal to point six. Ah, oh, so that's the, that's the mistake. So that's the mistake. We have found out the problem here. The problem is the problem. You know, uh, so if you actually subtract it, it becomes two a minus two c is equal to zero point six. So therefore, a becomes c plus point three. Okay. See error, error at any of these steps will express itself. How? It will not. It will give you, you know, uh, errors. It will give you values that will not reduce to simpler values. Okay, that's one way of checking whether you are going on the right track or not. So here, if you say see that a becomes equal to c plus point three, 
now you can put it here so this becomes 3a plus 2b plus uh, c uh, c is equal to so a is equal to c plus 0.3 and c is equal to a minus 0.3 so if you put c is equal to a minus 0.3 <coughs> so this becomes 4a plus 2b is equal to 2.1 now similarly we have to find out b so b becomes 1.05 minus 2a right so that is b for you now we have to take b and c in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is to 7 for making d for making d so let's take b and c in the ratio 2 is to 7 so this becomes 2.1 minus 4a plus 7 times a minus 2.1 divided by 9 so this becomes 2.1 gets cancelled here this becomes this becomes 3a by 9 so it becomes a by 3 so the strength of d with respect to a is one third i hope this is clear to you so we have to do this calculation a little faster the only thing that we have to note is that yes this considered to be this can be considered to be a slightly lengthy question as compared to the other questions in the paper and taking one minute to solve this is all right okay i hope this is clear to you let's move on and see the next question